Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. My name is Elise. Today's video, I'm very excited because I'm going to be talking about my number one product from most brands in my collection. I say most brands because I'm not gonna be talking about every single brand I have in my collection. I'm only going to be mentioning the brands I've tried at least three or more products from. I did create this makeup look using all of those number one favorite products from these brands. So if you want to know what I most recommend from these brands, then let's go. I'm gonna start off small and then work my way up to some of my favorite, favorite brands. So we end with a bang. First brand is Physicians Formula, and my number one product from them is a more recent find. I discovered this concealer this year, and it is the Butter Glow Concealer. This is giving very much like the Kosas Revealer Concealer, except this one feels a little bit more thin and slippy, and the Kosas one is a bit more creaminess and viscosity to it. This is going to be for the no makeup, very natural girlies, the girlies that like light to medium coverage. If you like wearing concealer as foundation, this is going to be your best friend. Next brand is Milani. I have been such a fan of Milani for basically the past 10 plus years. And if you've been here for any amount of time, if you looked at any of my descriptions on my makeup tutorials and things, you have seen this eye primer listed on there. This is the only drugstore eye primer that I like. I've been using this for probably 12 years. This was with me at the start of my makeup journey. It's lasted through the test of time. It doesn't really cancel out discoloration or redness or that kind of thing. It's not a full coverage P. Louise base kind of eye primer, but this is very thin and it does set down. I never ever have problems with patchiness or fading with my eyeshadow and I contribute it all thanks to this eye primer. It's a must for me. LA Girl. I feel like LA Girl is one of the most underrated drugstore brands, if not the most underrated drugstore brand. They have a lot of hidden gems, their eyeshadows, their lip oils, but my favorite from the brand, hands down, are their Shockwave eyeliners. They have a couple of different finishes. They have these neon ones, which if you like color, these neon ones, I mean, so pigmented, very easy to use. They're not patchy. They don't um, blend out gray or like blend out into nothing like a lot of color pastel products do. I did use the black today. I love this black. This is my favorite black eyeliner. If you have had trouble with eyeliner smudging or if you try to put it in the tight line and it transfers, try these shockwave eyeliners. I don't know how they did it. These are only like $3. It's insane. Oh, AF94. This is Halsey's second makeup brand available exclusively at Walmart. And I have tried more than just these two products. This brand has been very miss for me, if I'm being honest. I think where AF94 really shines is in their lip products. If you are looking for a good clear gloss their clear gloss in the shade do you see it this is their given lip high shine lip gloss and they are not joking when they say high shine i will insert a little clip of me putting this or layering this over a matte lip product this is the type of lip gloss that has a bit more thickness and viscosity and grip to it this is not like your tower 28 lip jellies which are very thin almost like a lip oil consistency. This is the opposite of that, but it's not goopy and it's not gonna give you those really gross stringy lines. It's not gonna give you any weirdness like that. It's not gonna give you butthole lips, nothing weird. This is actually my second unopened clear lip gloss. This is my first one. This is my OG that I'm still going through. It's part of my project pan and it's not even clear anymore. So this, and itself will tell you how much I love this lip gloss and how much use I've gotten out of this. This stays on me at all times. Next is Milk Makeup, 
Where Milk Makeup Shines is their cream products. Their cream bronzer used to be my favorite bronzer of all time, but as of right now, my favorite, favorite product from them are their lip and cheek sticks. These are just a very classic creamy formula. They're not too pigmented. I would say this is best for someone who likes working with creams. You don't want a blush that's too pigmented, that's hard to work with. You just want something that's very natural. These are my two favorite shades from them right now. And they do have a slight like natural kind of luminosity. They're not dewy, they're not like shiny or wet. This kind of burnt terracotta color, this one is Quirk, and this paler pink is Work. Next is Tower 28. I love Tower 28, I love their packaging. Everything that I've tried from them has been a banger. I've talked about these the most on my channel, and that just goes to show you that their Beach Please cream blushes are my absolute favorite. These have been favorites for years. I'm currently wearing Party Hour, very sheared out as my blush today. These, like the milk ones, are so, so easy to work with. I would say that these are a little bit more versatile than the milk ones because you can really sheer them out to just like a hint of color or you can really pack these on. These are great if you have tan to deep skin tones. This is my favorite fall blush. This is in the shade Power Hour and you can really, really make a very pigmented kind of blush look with these and they blend out powdery. Super easy to blend, very flexible. I also really, really like using these on the lips. They are formulated for the lips as well and same thing if you want a monochromatic look just find a color that you really like these are so easy i love the packaging these are one of my favorite favorite cream blush formulas next brand is nyx nyx just really kills it basically on all fronts their line is extremely impressive if you are kind of looking for a one and done brand, like you just want to buy from one brand and get a full face of high quality makeup for a very affordable price, NYX is one of the ones that I would tell you to go to first. I fell in love with this fat oil in the shade Mist Call so much so, literally could not put this down, wanted to reach for this over all of my other lip glosses that I got two more. I had to, they were having a 30% off sale. I was like, absolutely sign me up. These are fantastic. I'm currently wearing Supermodel. These smell so good. First of all, they have that classic kind of artificial cherry scent. It has a really nice fat doe foot applicator. These are basically a dupe for the Dior lip oils, but these are more pigmented and have a little bit more of a thickness, like balmy feel to them. They're very, very hydrating. So if you struggle with dry lips or glosses that just like sit on top of your lips and don't hydrate, I would absolutely say go find a shade that you like. You will be set for like a good eight hours with hydration with these. This has been a summer staple. I have not put these down. Next is one of my favorite brands, About Face. You guys know I've talked to death. I've talked this product to death on my channel. I'm not even gonna say what it is. You already know, I don't even have to say it. So About Face, clearly one of my favorite brands and their Cherry Pick Lip Butters. These are my favorite type of glossy stick kind of product. These are about $16, $15. They smell like lemon butter. Oh, they smell so good. And the pigmentation and the shine from these is absolutely insane. And they do feel like a balm when they go on. And they do fade over time, over eating and everything, but the moisture lasts all day, very moisturizing. And if you are someone who wants a very glossy kind of look, but you haven't found more bright colors, deeper colors, reds, oranges, browns, go for the About Face ones because they have the most beautiful, bright, 
fuchsia, berry, oranges, reds. Like if you like color like that, you need to, need to check these out. And these don't just smudge away. Like they really do grip and wear like a balm. Next one is It Cosmetics. And this might come as a surprise to some of you who know I adore their Lash Blowout Mascara. That's like top three mascaras of all time for me. I have to say that their CC Plus Nude Glow, this product changed how I looked at foundations, my preferences, what I look for when looking for foundation type products. When I first tried this out, and I did try this out on camera, I will try to leave a little card. For the dry skin girlies, for the girlies who have texture, if you have dry patches, if you struggle with foundations settling into these lines right here on the mouth and the nose, if you have had problems with foundations looking dry and cracking on your skin, you would love this. Oh my gosh, never have I ever tried a foundation that sits so beautifully light, creamy, doesn't settle into anything, just looks and stays moisturizing look looking all day i haven't found something that does it better than this one this is my favorite one to wear in the summer and i absolutely would be wearing this right now except the shade that i have is too light for me also for mature skin i think you would love 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 this because it just doesn't emphasize anything i honestly do think it's worth the money next we got miss color pop Drugstore mobile, drugstore staple. ColourPop along with NYX is another brand I would steer someone towards if you're looking for a one and done. It's an oldie but a goodie. Their super shock shadows are just it. If you're looking for cream eyeshadows that are super sparkly, come in any color that you could ever want or imagine, ColourPop. ColourPop super shock shadows I never have problems with this flaking or fading or giving me like tons of fallout. They grip without needing a glitter primer or anything. These are only like five or six dollars. I think they've killed it with these. One of their best, best formulas. This brand has a very, very special place in my heart. I discovered them either this year or maybe towards the end of last year, but Moira Cosmetics has become my favorite indie brand. The price is absolutely right. Honestly, I don't understand how they make such high quality, pigmented, creamy, blendable, just easy to use, they just work kind of products for the price point. I literally don't know how they do it. Every single product I've tried from them, I have not found a miss yet. And I just have to mention these because these are my most used products and I of course have already talked these to death, but their lip liners, both in their must have lip liner formula and in their signature lip pencil formula, any of their lip liners, you won't be disappointed. I'm currently wearing Sandy Brown paired with that NYX fat oil as my lip combination. The colors, like I've said before in previous videos, Moira does nude colors for every skin tone. And yes, deep skin tones, you are included in that as well. They do the best nudes. They have the best colors. These remind me a lot of the NYX suede matte, but I actually prefer these way more than the NYX suede matte because they're more creamy and glidey, but they give you that same kind of smooth, velvety matte texture to your lips and they're literally five dollars moira i love you you guys are amazing miss rare beauty rare beauty has one of the best brand aesthetics like the products when they're paired together look beautiful on the face but also the packaging is just one of the best that i have seen of course i was so tempted to name their blushes as my favorite because they're just so iconic I love everything that I've tried from the brand, but I do have to give it to their powder highlighter just because I have never encountered another powder formula like this. Honestly, a highlighter formula in general like this. It is so ethereal 
It's literally fairy dust. It's the one I'm wearing on my cheeks today. You only need the tiniest little bit. It's just so magical. The powder itself is soft and this as you can tell i did make a dent by accident this is a very delicate fragile kind of powder get that 2016 kind of brightness like you see that top top notch quality and overall i just i love you rare beauty you guys are awesome miss huda beauty i actually really did not like their eyeshadows when they first came out when i first started using huda beauty back in like 2017, I hated their eyeshadows and the quality has progressed into something absolutely beautiful and worth your money. They have changed their formula and really perfected and improved their eyeshadows and I really love to see it. So I have to say that their big eyeshadow palettes, these ones are my favorite. This one in Naughty Nude is my favorite from Huda Beauty. The different textures that you have in here, I did use some of the mattes as my crease color in my look. You have these beautiful like foily kind of shimmers and then you have some interesting like wet kind of textures. She also makes like the swirly kind of matte kind of powdery textures. They're all so fun to play with. The pigmentation is there. I think her color stories are some of the best that I see across like all brands. Like every single palette she comes out with, I think the color story is beautiful. It makes sense. The packaging, very nice. Comes with a big mirror. Probably going to be my number one eyeshadow at the end of this year. We're down to the last two brands. Out of all the other brands, I own the most from these two brands. So second to last is Miss Aryan Beauty. Now, when they first came out, I was really scared. In my first couple of reviews, I was a bit disappointed in just how they were marketing their brand, the rollout and everything. Like I've already spoken about that. This year, I have been impressed and relieved, <laughs> if I'm being honest, with the switch, the shift, that I'm seeing Aryan Beauty take, and I love so many of their products. Their foundation, which I have been wearing religiously, is my favorite product that I have tried from them yet. I think they've killed this formulation and the shade range. I'm not gonna talk too much because I already have a YouTube short and a full review and wear test up on my channel. I will link here. This is probably going to be my number one foundation of the year. And also, like I was saying about Rare Beauty, I know people hated on the packaging in the beginning, but those who got it, got it. I was one of the ones who got it the first time with how all of their products look together. I, I actually love the aesthetic. I love how all the products look together. I love this kind of futuristic silver packaging. And to end today's video, I, I had to bring it back to my roots, to my favorite brand ever. Definitely my favorite drugstore brand. I've been repping them since the beginning. Probably the first makeup brand I ever tried, ever discovered, and ever got obsessed with. You know it's real. You know the love is real when e.l.f. I own the most products from you. Out of any brand in my collection, can you tell? I love e.l.f. Literally in every category, this powder, love it. You guys already know. I love you. I probably love you like the most, but don't tell anyone else. They are just that brand for me. And it was really hard to choose a favorite because I've had so many favorites from the brand over the past 10 years, but this year it is their 4% Niacinamide Power Grip Primer. It's the primer I'm wearing today. I wear it almost every single time I wear makeup. It's just a go-to for me. This is literally glue. And I think anyone of any skin type, this will work for everyone, especially if you're like me and you do struggle with like the dryness or like settling in the fine lines here. This alleviates that problem because it adds that moisture and that smooth barrier between the skin and the makeup that's going to prevent those lines 
that sinking or that cracking from forming. But overall, Elf, you're my favorite. You've always been my favorite. You will continue to be my favorite. I love you, I love you, I love you. And one day, hopefully, we can collab. Those are all of my number one favorites from most brands in my collections. What do you guys think? Do you have the same favorites? What are some of your favorites slash favorite brands? Let me know and like, comment, subscribe. You already know the drill. I am sending you guys so, so, so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!